Thanks for coming to CoinGraph Market, here is where we change your crypto journey. Are you sick of keeping an eye on the market all the time? Thanks to our $1,000 $100,000 trading challenge, you can trade like a pro without having to sit at your computer all day. It only costs $79 a month. You can instantly copy the trades I make. Sign up for Satoshi Swiss today and step up your crypto game. Let's take over the world of crypto together. To join, click on the first link in the description below. Now let's get to the movie. We're going to talk about a very controversial topic in the XRP community in this video, Burning Ripple's XRP Lockup. I'm going to tell you everything I think about this. There has been a lot of talk about this lately. I'm going to talk about it in more depth in this film. Making sure you watch the whole movie is important because I also want to share some new information about Bitcoin spot ETFs. Based on the two new pieces of information we have gotten, it looks like these ETFs will likely pass in the first few weeks of January. In this video, I want to talk about the two new pieces of information we got lately. Because, people, I think one of the biggest amounts of money into the cryptocurrency market ever is about to happen. You won't want to miss this. To start this video, I'd like to talk about an interesting thing that Crypto IRI recently shared. It has to do with XRP or Automatic Market Makers, which is a subject that has been talked about a lot for a while now. A Quant co-founder also wrote this study paper, which is mostly about how the automated market maker based on the XRP ledger will do better than standard DEXs like on a swap it. I'm not going to talk about the study paper with you guys on video. I wanted to bring this to your attention, though, because I think it's a really good sign that people outside of the XRP community are interested in the automated market maker one, even before it starts. I believe this is what the XRP system really needs. People from other environments need to become interested in the technology and say, hey, this chain is better than Ethereum because of this. Some people who aren't part of the XRP ledger community or Ripple seem to be interested in the automated market maker. That, in my opinion, is a really, really good sign. Which of my projects that don't involve XRP is my favorite? So, the fact that one of their co-founders was interested in this really impressed me. Guys, Quan is also making an overledger. In other words, a way to connect all of these different blockchains. If Quan is working with big companies to connect them to different blockchains, that means they know they need stronger and more useful DEX. That's why they're writing study papers about how automated market makers on the XRP ledger can help make these bigger and better liquidity pools for our future financial system look like such a good sign. It would be great if everyone in the XRP community thought this new tool was great, but we've already used it. It looks like other groups looking for deeper sources of liquidity on cheaper, faster, and more efficient lines are also paying attention to the automated market maker. I just wanted to quickly bring this to your attention. Let's talk about what it means instead of the paper itself. These kinds of projects are what I think will actually bring in the big fish and make more people aware of our environment. Before we talk about Ripple's XRP lockup, I want to quickly talk about two very interesting news stories about a Bitcoin ETF. And, guys, as you all know, I've been saying on this channel for a while that these Bitcoin ETFs will be out soon. I think I've been pointing this out for a while, even before most people knew about it. But two more things we learned today have me thinking, guys. I'm pretty sure that these will be okay in the beginning of January. I had some doubts for a while after that. If we're being honest, the SEC hasn't let the Bitcoin community enjoy many good things. They have pretty much stopped us from making any cryptocurrency related products that would be good for the market. However, it looks like these steps will be taken in response to events in the background, folks. We just found out today that the AFTC and SCRC in Hong Kong are thinking about letting their own coin spot, ETFs, use them. Guys, this is going to put a lot of stress on the United States. The United States could say for a while that it wouldn't accept certain goods, but it could put off buying them because it didn't really trade with any other country. You guys are in grave danger from this. The US could lose access to incoming cash and wouldn't be able to police the world properly if Hong Kong approved these things before the US did. 
This includes all the money that was going to be invested in spot ETFs. The United States will have a strong reason to act now because the capital will go somewhere else if we keep putting these problems off. In my opinion, this was a clear message to the SEC that they needed to act quickly or risk getting behind schedule. But the second thing I got today was a specific message from my brokerage asking me to vote on certain ETF problems by January 7th. When I saw January 7th, I thought, you know what? And the problem in question was the conversion of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust to an ETF. Keep an eye on the date January 7th, which is right before the expected release of the Bitcoin Spot ETFs on January 10th. I think this is only happening because the people who are issuing these spot Bitcoin ETFs already know they will be approved. All of these Bitcoin spot ETF producers met with the SEC at the same time the other day. It was a historic meeting. Usually, the SEC doesn't do these things. The SIUC is taking these steps because they think the Bitcoin spot ETFs will soon be approved. Good afternoon, I've talked a lot on this channel about how big I think they will be for the market, how big I think they will be for starting the next bull run in this sector, and how huge I think they will be for giving the market new cash to boost it. Guys, I was worried and unsure for a while about how likely it was that these steps would be put in place in early January. However, these are the kinds of things I'm seeing that teach me. This isn't just a rumor. This isn't just talk. This is going to happen. There was also something just around the corner that could completely change this area. Guys, I'm going to end this video now. We'll talk about burning the XRP trust a lot. These days, a lot of interesting things are going on behind the scenes in the business. I also know this movie has been seen a lot of places. I meant to cover all of them at once. That was it. The conversation about burning the XRP lockup is now over. Now this subject is always brought up. I also think that the reason it's being talked about now is that people are getting annoyed that XRPR isn't pumping. One of the things they are doing right now is using XRP lockup. They are not criticizing Jenna X here either. Jenna is great in my opinion. I have a lot of respect for her position. She was the one who started talking. I chose to ignore this tweet. Okay, let me tell you why I don't think it's a good idea to burn the XRP reserve. At first, I think that the XLM group burned all of the extra XLM that was being used. What changed with the price of XLM? Not at all. Because of this, the price of XRP did not go up. More than